Have you taken the selective attention test in which you watch a video in which there are six people passing a basketball around in a circle and they're wearing white shirts and the assignment is count the number of passes they make with that basketball. I took it and I counted 15 passes and I was right. But I missed something very important. That is, in the middle of their time, a gorilla comes in and joins the group and then slips out again. Of course, it's a human dressed as a gorilla. I never saw it. And most people who take this test never see the gorilla. Why? Because they are focused on one thing and they miss something very big. In the church, we sometimes are focused on human personalities instead of on the Lord. It is the Lord who makes things grow and we actually contribute to the devil's purpose of dividing the church when we get too focused on humans and not focused on the Lord. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper, published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Listen to the words of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 5 to 8. What, after all, is Apollos and what is Paul? only servants through whom you came to believe. As the Lord had assigned each his task, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. The man who plants and the man who waters have one purpose, and each will be rewarded according to his own labor." Spirituality leads to humility, which leads to unity in the church. Carnality or worldliness produces pride, which leads to division or factions. So we can be like the Corinthians. We can be focused on teachers, human personalities, leaders in the church, whether current ones or ones from the past. For example, I can say, well, I follow Wesley, I follow Luther, I follow Calvin. When we do that, we are missing the main point, which is the Lord Jesus Christ and putting sometimes people on a pedestal. I did that as a young believer. I put a person on a pedestal, which young believers are so prone to do. Uh, I had been raised Catholic, and when I came to the Lord, I returned to the Catholic Church for a short season, was part of a prayer meeting in which there was a ordained brother, Franciscan, Catholic man, who was very humble, very gentle, very godly, and I put him on a pedestal. And I was shocked when he and his fiance, eventually he left the brothers and got married, but revealed that they had had an argument. I'm going, you had an argument? This gentle, loving, humble man had an argument? I had put him on a pedestal and thought, he can't have an argument. He's too good for that. So we want to appreciate people in the sense that they are a work of God. We're actually appreciating what God has done in them, but not being overly focused on the person themselves, because it is God who produces in us what we become. Now, I was rebuked, as, as America was rebuked, by a letter that I read several decades ago, actually, by a Christian from India. He wrote this to the American church, saying, in India, masses of people come out simply to seek the Lord. They don't announce who the speaker is. But he says, in America, you're all concerned about who's doing the speaking. You're all concerned about human personalities. We in India simply want to seek the Lord. Hey, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this, exalting pastors, teachers, leaders, instead of exalting the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're on a platform that allows your sharing, we'd love to hear from you. And until next time, may you focus on the Lord Jesus Christ and not on human personalities.